Hello, welcome. My name is Jason Humphrey. I am a mentor here at Thinkful, and this is my playlist to help you out at Thinkful. And this video is all about how do you get the most out of Thinkful. And I'm going to tell you right now how to be successful because I've seen and mentored over 30 students there and seen many more come through the program and go and find great jobs. And this is what I see. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is what you need to do. If you can follow this, you will be successful here. The first and foremost thing you need to do is you need to grow your relationship with your mentor. I think that is the number one best thing that Thinkful Out does everyone on is the mentor program, along with giving the mentor guidelines and giving you guidelines. At the same time, allowing you to grow the relationship between the two of you, whether you're in the full-time or the part-time, take advantage of that. That is the number one area where you need to make sure that you and your mentor are on the same level. You like you like what he's saying. You, it's not even like. It's more of you come with a game. I have a whole nother video. I don't even need to go over that. I have a whole nother video on that. Go ahead and watch that. It, I'll try to put it up over here. It's going to be about how to get the most out of your mentorship. That's the number one thing I think you need to do. Let's go down the list. I've got way more. Q&A sessions. They are absolutely phenomenal. They are always on. Uh, I host two or three a week, personally myself, and that's one. It's very underutilized, I think. Uh, there are lots of times where students don't come with questions; they'll just come to watch. At the same time, there's a lot of people that just don't show up. So, utilize them. Come into the sessions, ask questions. I'm not saying you have one minute a problem for one minute. You come in. I'm saying you're stuck. You definitely have to come in. At the same time, come in and ask questions. Pick our brains. There is a world of professionals just sitting in Q&A sessions waiting to talk to you. So that's also a great way to network at the same time is to go in these Q&A sessions. Next is workshops. If you see up top, you'll see a tab in your dashboard that says Q&A sessions. Once you're in there, there's a tab for workshops. There's generally one to two workshops a day. It used to be more prominent and thankful, but they've slowed it down because not enough students go anymore, but there still are workshops. Um, I have one on the mean stack. There's one on how to do Git from the intro, and there's some ones on Node, and I think there's a couple on Python and iOS that I've seen. That is another great way to get the most out of thankful. Workshops. There are, there are a ton of mentors that even if you just talk to them, they'd be willing to host a workshop to teach you something that you want to learn that they can also teach to other thankful students. And then who knows, maybe Thinkful will even promote that, maybe. Uh, next is the Slack. Ask questions. There's a community there of actively, at any given time, 500 users. I think in the entire Slack community, there's over 5,000. That's not to say that they're all active. Some have come and gone. Some are still there. Some are actually in courses currently. Don't be afraid to ask questions. It's a great place to get your problems. Uh, go ask your questions to the problems you're having because I guarantee you what you're feeling is what someone else felt and they might be able to help you they might be able to teach you something and then you might be able to give back someday when someone's asking the exact same question on where you are at this current moment next take advantage of code reviews there are code reviews with mentors there are code reviews with peers uh, take advantage of it you know don't just blow it off look at how other people look at your code, look how they understand it, do they get it, what don't they get, why not, and then what, what do they recommend? And then when you get in front of a mentor to get one of the, their code reviews and they review your code, take full advantage of it. Take notes of everything they say to you. Write down anything you can improve on. While you're there, ask them questions. Network with them. Talk to them more. It's a great opportunity to get in front of someone to critique you and at the same time learn from them and maybe grow a relationship and network. Next, TAs and teachers. If you're in a full-time, this is particularly towards full-time, be sure to ask your TA questions and your teacher's questions. Don't just sit there with your hand down all the time. Speak up. Ask the questions. They are more than happy to help. They are extremely helpful. That's another great, it kind of relates to the mentors up top of what Thinkful does really, really well. Um, and I'm totally on board with that, but definitely utilize them more. I see a lot of times uh, students might just say, ah, you know, I'm here now. Can you help, help me with this As a, from me being a mentor? And yes, but why didn't you just ask the TA or one of them in class to help you? Oh, I didn't want to bother them. No, 
ask them the questions. They're there to help you take advantage of that. Um, next is resources and coursework. And there are lots of other resources inside of Thinkful. Like there's a whole other section most of you don't know about uh, of short little projects to run you through. Like I have three or four, and I'll try to link them in this video somewhere either over here or over here. I might put a video or picture up. But there's a spot in Thinkful that has just projects for you to do. And I wrote three of them in for their Angular course. Uh, and that's just for the Angular stuff. But there's lots of other projects and little short things that you can jump on that's outside of the normal coursework. And at the same time, fully take advantage of the coursework. Reread over the material. Take notes on it as you go. And the last thing I'm going to point out that I see people kind of take lightly is the interviews. The mock interviews. You should take full advantage of them and treat it as if it's real because it I can tell you from my personal experience of giving the mock interviews I'm going to give it to you exactly as it's been given to me in the past when I interview from jobs and these are great it's practice right practice makes perfect if you go play sports you don't just go play the games you practice before you play you Go to practice, you know, three or four or five times a week if we're talking, this is like a club sport or something like that, but you practice. It's the same thing with interviews. Take advantage of it and take it seriously. Some of the most successful students I've seen have taken super, how to put this, they have taken advantage of it and utilized it like it was an actual interview. And those are some of the most successful people I've seen is they were serious through the whole course. They took advantage of everything they had. They took advantage of their mentors, they went to Q&As, they did workshops, they did their coursework, they did Slack, they took advantage of code reviews, they asked questions to TAs and teachers, they, did their re they checked up on all the resources, and they did their interviews. Heck, I should just name this the 10, uh, <laughs> 10 things to help you be successful at Thinkful and how to get the most out of them. That's this video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, or comment below. And if you have any questions on Thinkful and you're not actually in Thinkful, by all means, reach out. Go read the course report thing they wrote up on an interview I did with them. And yeah, that's it. We'll talk to you guys later.